When you come up, it will be underexposed because you know that you wanna shoot at 800 ISO, but the room is way too dark to be shooting without the flash. But you know the flash is gonna be popping off, so it's gonna be fine. But the camera doesn't know that yet. So it sees dark, that's all it sees. So how can you overcome this? What is going on you guys? My name is Daniel, I'm a photographer here in Helsinki, and on this channel we go over everything Canon mirrorless cameras, specifically the EOS OR and the M50 that I'm shooting with right now. So one of the greatest upsides to having a mirrorless camera is that you can see the exposure as you shoot. So as you look through the viewfinder, you can roll through and you can see what it is. So it keeps you from underexposing, overexposing, and really helps you focus on composition. But what happens in situations like low light when it is just too dark for the exposure on the back to be useful or through the viewfinder? In those situations, what do you do? How do you overcome it? And how do you come out on the other side with better photos, especially if you're doing something like a wedding where, where it's just super dark and you need to get those photos the first time and you're only getting it one shot. And having a dark screen that's not being able to catch focus isn't helping you. All these answers coming up after this. So on the Canon ESOR, what you have is the exposure simulation that goes on. And once again, like I said, it's super useful for everyday photography out when there's bright light and there's enough light but when it comes down to flash photography and you need to have those photos and you're gonna be popping off a of flash all the time, it's not gonna show you right off the bat exactly what it is. After two or three times, it will bump up the exposure and let you see a little bit clearer, but what typically happens, especially when you're shooting a gig, and this happened to me, I have a video where I did a Roaring Twenties party, I was a photographer, and I had some problems right off the bat, and then I went and figured them out, and here I am to teach you. So when you come up, it will be underexposed, because you know that you wanna shoot at 800 ISO, but the room is way too dark to be shooting without the flash. But you know the flash is gonna be popping off, so it's gonna be fine. But the camera doesn't know that yet. So it sees dark, that's all it sees. So how can you overcome this? There's a setting in there that you can press. It is called exposure simulation, and it is in the red menu, the first red cam camera. It's in the first red cam, cam bip, 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 bip. wow, okay. It is in the first red camera menu on number three. At the very bottom, it's gonna say expo simulation enabled. That's what's giving you these problems in the low light situation. So you're gonna to wanna to go in there and click disable. That will allow it to act more like a DSLR. And so the real problem is when you go to take those shots and you need to get them really fast, the problem is that the exposure is so low that it's having trouble with the contrast, which is how the autofocus system works. So it can't find that focus, even though you know the flash is gonna go off and it usually rarely ever fires this thing off. I haven't found a way to fire the actual um, infrared, it's not infrared, but the tracking that helps with this with a mirrorless camera. The problem is that the camera is still able to find focus just at a higher ISO. So it needs to be at a higher ISO and so it takes a second to boot bump up after you've tried to find it. So it will search, not be able to find it, bump its own ISO up, find it, then take the photo. It can take about half a second, maybe a second sometimes to find focus after that, and you've already missed your shot. So when you turn off exposure simulation, it's gonna already be bumped up to a higher ISO and it will stay there, even though your, your settings aren't gonna change when you take the picture. It will still shoot at 100, 800, whatever the low ISO is that you wanna shoot at. It will be taking photos at that ISO, but it will be able to show you an image automatically without having to go through that procedure. So when you turn that off, it allows you to be able to take those photos faster, allows you to be able to compose photos because you can see through it, because it's not like a mirrorless camera where it's just boom, 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 you see straight out the front, and it really speeds up the workflow that way. 
Now there's a few other issues you might run into with the ESOR or mirrorless cameras when you're shooting with a flash. And I have a video that's gonna pop up right there that'll show you exactly what you need to do, some of the quick easy fixes that you might be running into. If this video helped you out with this, don't forget to like and subscribe on this channel. We go over everything mirrorless Canon cameras. My name is Daniel. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.